se il mercato richiede, i cantieri devono fare If the market demands shipyards have to do only one thing, fulfill their customers dreams. On that note, this is the new Scanner NV 1200HT and today I came to Varese in Italy to test it out. Welcome to the boat show. The ingenuity and talent of Donato Montremito gave birth to the lines of the newborn in the Scanner Marine family. Overall length, 11.98 meters and a maximum beam of 3.8 meters. There's a large swimming platform that characterizes the extreme stern area of the boat. But the substantial difference that makes the new NV 1200HT differ from the rest of the range is manifested by the presence of two side walkways that allow the entrance to the cockpit. In the center, there's a large sun deck that hides the aft locker, now used as an engine compartment. Obviously, in the outboard version, this area can be entirely suitable for storage, and you can install a maximum of three engines of 450 horsepower each. When closed, the electrically height-adjustable table is not so wide, which breaks down the general lines of the deck layout. Yet, by opening the sides, it comfortably seats eight people. The superstructure covers a multifunctional module with a worktop, a sink, and the possibility of installing an outdoor kitchen. The T-top continues the elegant but decisive lines of the formwork and merges with the deck behind the pilot seat with a solid stainless steel bracket. A detail that I really appreciated is the management of the heights. Observing the lines of this model, you notice large forward volumes, which are useful for livability below deck, but from the bridge up to the swimming platform, the layout has been developed on the same floor level. This certainly facilitates life on board, especially in the cockpit, but more importantly, it makes this area very safe because the height of the gunwale increases from stern to bow, securely enclosing anyone on board, even at higher speeds. Two small steps lead up to the generous side deck towards the sun deck in the forward area. In questo punto i tubolari arrivano a livello del piano di In this spot the tubulars reach the level of the floor and therefore unless you have a strong handrail installed here on the superstructure I recommend you find a safe space and stay there while navigating. Ogni volta che saliamo su un'imbarcazione la Every time we hop on board a boat the perception we have of space whether it's large or small makes us forget what the real technical data of the boats are. Well, if I stop and think about the fact that I'm on an inflatable boat of less than 12 meters, my impression is that there's a lot, a lot of space. Thanks to a very deep hull and raised deck house, the owner's cabin at the bow is truly large, well lit and airy. Then, over here, there is a hallway with a sofa seat and in there, the bathroom with a separate shower. Take a look at this touch of style. This is not slate effect, this is real slate on an inflatable boat of less than 12 meters. But let's not forget that this is an inflatable boat and not a house, so the most important thing is how it navigates, and I honestly can't wait to find out. When considering a boat, you need to think very carefully about its purpose. There are boats that go extremely fast. Boats suitable for cruising or boats designed to have excellent seaworthiness. So what about this new Scanner MV1200 HT? Certainly, it's a boat designed to have excellent seaworthiness and a lot of comfort on board. In fact, as we've seen, the layout has been completely redesigned. The hull is the same of the Model 14, but has been redesigned for these sizes. It has an extremely deep hull. Consider that the dead rise at the transom is of 24 degrees. This means it has a lot of wet surfaces and will need a lot of horsepower to be pushed. No, 
oggi come propulsione abbiamo due Volvo V8 benzina. Today this boat is equipped with two Volvo V8 gasoline stern drive engines of 430 horsepower each, which means that we have a total of 860 horsepower. However, the maximum power that can be installed is 1350 horsepower with three outboard engines of 450 horsepower each. Questo vuol dire che certo oggi non raggiungeremo la velocità massima. This means that today we won't be reaching the real top speed of this boat, but we will certainly test its navigation ability. So let's bring it to cruising speed, which is around 20 knots. The hard top is impressive. It covers me very well and makes me feel almost in a closed-in environment. And I must say that the visibility of the bow remains very good. We're at 20 knots, which is entering the cruising speed. Despite the fact that we are already at cruising speed, I get the feeling that this boat needs a little more speed to settle on the water in its best pace. In fact, when we pass 25 knots, the bow lowers slightly and the boat seems to raise from the water, becoming more lightweight. This is the moment when I can go to work a bit on the trim by raising the trim of the stone drives, which so far have been working in negative. The tubulars of this new Scanner Marine model don't excessively touch the water. They are neither too high nor too low. When entering ploughing mode, which means when the hull comes out of the water, they drag less water and therefore less friction. They correct the trim less during navigation and make this boat very agile. Obviously, this happens even when veering. In fact, it leans on the water and you don't feel the effect of the tubular so much. This allows us to have a smooth veer without the effect of bouncing on the water. What I like about Scanner Marine is the real possibility of customization, because everything you see inside the boat, and of course the boat itself, are produced in-house at the shipyard. So, if you'd like something different, all you have to do is ask. The shipyard itself declares that this boat, with the hull and this motorization, can reach 40 knots. And so today, as always, I have two main goals. The first one is to reach them, and the second one is to top them. Today in Varese, the sea is flat thanks to a very strong Tramontana wind. So we are staying close to the coast and going full throttle. 5,500 RPM and 35 knots. 5,600 RPM and 37 knots. 5,900 RPM, 40.1 knots. First goal achieved. Let's start working with the trim. Obviously, with 1,350 horsepower on the transom, this boat could reach higher speeds. But the really important thing we are interested in is the handling of this boat on the sea. However, today we're going to have to break down this barrier of 42 knots, and so I'm going to work a little more on the trim and 42.1. 42.2. We did it again this time. Will there be a time when we don't make it? Who knows? Perhaps the new Scanner NV1200 HT was just the model that was missing from the Scanner Marine range. A modestly sized boat with lots and lots of space on board. What's really important 
is that you have a lot of fun at the helm.